Welcome back to Everyday Kentucky. Kentucky's oldest community involved theater is enjoying a return to the stage this season in front of an in person audience. Uh, which is awesome to get the, that back to something back to normalcy here. Here to talk about their upcoming show, Becky's New Car, is director <laughs> Meredith Crutcher. Good morning to you and welcome to Everyday Kentucky. We're so glad you're here. Good morning. Thank you for having me. Becky's new car. Tell us what this is about. I know it's a comedy, which we are big fans of. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's a comedy. It's very fun. Um, basically, it's about a woman who is middle aged, so she's around 50, um, and she finds herself in a mundane rotation of daily life. Uh, but she gets offered a new lease on life when a millionaire steps into her office and kind of uh, provokes some things. Ooh, interesting. <laughs> yeah, interesting. I wish a millionaire would walk into my life. <laughs> me, me too. Wouldn't that be we, nice? We, we all think, think that. These are things that only happen on television and in plays. <laughs> and, and, and folks can come and see that play. You're going to be doing it for a few weekends coming up here really soon. Tell us about that. Yes. Um, we open next week, Thursday, uh, January 13th, and it will run that weekend and the following two weekends after that. Very nice. Is this a relatively new play? I don't know that I've ever heard of it. I think it is a relatively new play. It's set in modern times, so, you know, there's mentions of iPhones and things like mm -hmm. that in it. So, yeah. Interesting. Now, are some of the actors local, like maybe f faces we'll be familiar with? Yes, uh, there are probably some faces that you have seen before, but we have some new people as well. And I, I really wanted to try and bring some new faces in, so it should be a really fun time. Well, tell us about the Carriage House and, and the history there. The carriage house was a former horse carriage house that um, they used to store the horse carriages there and they ended up turning it into a theater and um, adding a beautiful lobby and so it's a really nice intimate space um, and I, I like doing shows there because you can just feel the vibes if people are laughing and oh, having yeah. a good time or um, with more dramatic shows uh, you know you can always feel everyone's energy. The oohs and the ahs. The oohs and, and the ahs. Everything. So, well, I mean, we're talking about to, not a full crowd allowed to end the show because of COVID. Right. But you're going to be close, right? Right. Up to 80% um, capacity is what we're selling at right now. And we want to make sure that, you know, everyone has the opportunity to have a little space between them and the party next to them. How thrilled are the actors to be back on the stage? They're so excited, nervous. It feels very weird. I'm an actor um, first, so I know how it is to step back on the stage and, and feel a little bit skittish right now. Mm -hmm. But everybody is so excited to just be back in front of a live audience. Does that it makes mean a we, difference. More, more, more coming soon? Got more acts coming? Hopefully. Hopefully. Okay. Yeah. okay. All right. <laughs> I like that. So if people want tickets, what's the best way to go about that? Um, you can call. Uh, there's a number. I have listed 859-257-4929, or you can uh, visit scfatickets.com. And tickets available at the door, or do you want to get them ahead of time? I will try to get them ahead of time just because of the capacity that we are selling, um, the limited capacity. But uh, I do believe that they will be available at the door. Very nice. Well, it sounds like a fun time. It does, yeah. The premise sounds hilarious, so it, it sounds great. It's yeah. going to be really fun. Can't wait to see Becky. Becky's new car. Becky's yes, new car. Becky's, Becky's new, new car. car. Thank go. you so much. Thank, Thank you. you.